Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to show you the YMC video. That was one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world. Um, by the way, do you like my new Starbucks earrings? Comment down below if you do. Um, so if you live in Australia and you're watching this video, please do because um, I wanted you all and everybody to learn about box jellyfish for those who don't. Um, I will be sharing a video with you. Let me not do the one first. Um, okay. Ew, that's gross. Oh, here's a good one. Hey guys, I'm gonna pause that for a sec. So, um, if you watch um, How to Survive on that channel, comment down below. I love that channel and tell me what your favorite video is. This one is my most beloved favorite. To survive this lethal attack, follow these steps. Step one, run. You'll want to get away as fast as you can. Unlike other kinds of jumping. Oh jeez. Scientist Angel Yanagihara suffered this horrific sting in 1997 in Hawaii while studying for her PhD. Oh, yes, you can. Only 500 meters offshore, she swam into a swarm of box jellyfish. Oh, you slick computer. It was early before dawn, and she didn't see a thing, but she felt this stinging in her neck and arms. And her lungs felt like they were on fire and started to collapse. Miraculously, she made her way back to shore. And three days later, after recovering enough to get out of bed, she decided to dedicate her life to studying these jellyfish and help okay. save people from their fatal venom. Step two, remove the stingers. You'll need to work quickly to find and remove the stingers. If you're the person doing the removing, use tweezers, a credit card, or some other tool. You don't want to come in contact with the venom. Removing the stingers will also prevent more poison from entering the person's bloodstream. Don't use fresh water on the wounds, because that will make the pain even worse. Treat wounded areas with vinegar. This won't be difficult, as the stinging tentacles will be thick, rope-like marks on the victim's body. The vinegar will help stop the venom from spreading, and provide some pain relief. And I don't care what you've read or seen on the internet, do not pee 
based on the victim. Ew. This is not a myth. It does not work. And it's gross. The victim has enough problems right now. The ammonia in urine and pee can help some stings if they're applied separately to the wounds. But our pee contains so much water that it would likely inflict more pain. A 10-year-old Australian boy was stung by a box jellyfish, but under very fortunate circumstances. He was in the middle of a swimming lesson and surrounded by lifeguards. He was about 50 meters offshore when he was stung. Immediately, he was brought back to the beach and given oxygen as other lifeguards poured vinegar on his wounds. He was taken to a nearby hospital with an elevated heart rate, but stabilized shortly after that. After an ECG and some ibuprofen, he had a hot shower and was released within a few hours. Step three, avoid them in the first place. Knowing the dangers of these creatures, where they live, and how they behave will go a long way in preventing this from happening. Box jellyfish can be found a few hundred meters offshore. They live in all oceans, some freshwater lakes and ponds. The most lethal species are found in northern Australia. Scientists consider them to be the most venomous marine animal. They have an incredible range in size. From the size of a thimble, to a Whoa. diameter of 2.4 meters. Their tentacles can stretch more than 60 meters in length. Box jellyfish are known to kill on average one person each year in Australia and up to six in the Philippines. But if you stay away from warmer water where these killers hang out, they're not something you'd necessarily have to worry about. So, do you still think that sharks are the deadliest predator? These jellyfish are nearly invisible in the water. Don't leave blood behind when they attack. And they can kill you much faster than Jaws ever could. But what about piranhas? Could they be worse? Ew. Could you survive a piranha feeding frenzy? Well, we've got the perfect video for you. To be prepared and stay alive. How to survive. to make you one more to make one more video for you all because I've been falling behind on videos people are trying to keep me busy all day I haven't had time to make videos lately so um, I kind of have to do it like during the week now and so I'm so